let you do that. 6.30, you have something I said for one more, and then I'm going to speak to you. I hope you all don't stay late. It's supposed to get ugly tonight. You're right, bro. Mr. Shaw? Mr. Shaw? Mr. Shaw? I was trying to get through. Uh, Mr. Shaw, time is ticking. <laughs> Mr. Shaw, hello, how are you? Thanks for coming in. Fine. Are you, do you have the three questions that we asked you to come and speak with us on? Slightly. Okay. Right here in front of me. They're right there in front of you. So we're going to give the time over to you. You can go over them any way you want, smush them together one at a time, however you want. You will have 10 minutes to talk. Um, if you happen to finish before the 10 minutes, then we will have some questions for you. Okay. And so now it's going to be your show. Okay. So the first question is briefly explain your interest in serving on the oversight board and the reasons you wish to serve. Um, my name is James Shaw. I think everybody's pretty familiar with um, what happened last year, um, what my platform is right now, um, and that I'm trying to use it in a responsible way. Um, I am from Nashville. I'm 30 years old. I'm an old man now. Uh, and with that, I want to help inspire the next generation that's coming up. Uh, I know I, my voice is very powerful within the city of Nashville and me being, with, uh, being from Nashville. Um, and this board is very important, and with my voice, I feel like I can be um, kind of a liaison between um, what's going on in the city um, politically and with with the police force and everything, and uh, to to the neighborhoods within the city of Nashville. Um, I feel that my voice is, you know, very very valuable. Um, and I don't want it to get lost, and I want to use it responsibly, and this is a way that I can I can do that. Um, the second question is, please describe your background and or familiarity um, with civil rights and equity issues. Um, I don't have a whole lot of background with civil rights. Um, I was an electrical engineering major at TSU. I'm an electrician. Um, but I know what's right is what's right, and what's wrong is wrong. Um, I'm a person of high respect and, 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 and morals and, and value. Um, I don't really, I don't really do anything that's that's not really. Uh, I wouldn't say I don't I don't do anything that's not really approved of. I kind of I kind of just try to fly under the radar and, and try to be an even smooth-headed person. I don't try to take other people's. Uh, what they say might be the truth. You have to find out, kind of find out the truth for yourself. Um, and when you find out the truth for yourself, you have to make sure that it's just not what you want to hear. It's what actually the truth is. You have to get your your uh, your 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 resources and everything. You have to make sure that they're they're honorable. You just can't uh, reach from one pot and think it's always the truth. Um, the third question is: Please describe your background, experience, or familiarity with criminal justice and uh, policy, policy practices. Um, once again, not my exact field, but like I said, my platform is very large. Um, I feel that, uh, especially within the city of Nashville, I'd be very, very valuable to the board. Um, as far as, you know, the stuff with Police and how's it go? Policing and how it goes and how they're trained. Um, most policemen, almost every policeman I, I talk to knows me. Uh, they kind of think a lot of me. Same thing as fire firemen, and I think a lot of of policemen and firemen being in the situation I was in. And I respect them highly, and they respect what I did highly. So I feel that with that being said and you know the way that they feel I feel like that's a a very valuable necessity to be on this board and that I'm very relatable to and that the story is very relatable to and it's just uh, I feel like I'm just very valuable and could be very valuable to the board. Okay. All right so we've got about five minutes let's, let's open it up for some questions. Yes, sir. My questions. subcommittee folks.
Yes, sir. Oh, man. Oh, sorry about thank that. you. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a question for you. Um, uh, I looked at your uh, questionnaire, and uh, in terms of community service, uh, all the people who will be evaluating you uh, understand how uh, difficult and hard uh, community service is and how much hard work that is. When I looked at yours and I saw voting, and then I saw appearances at a few places, and um, I'm concerned also about the fact that uh, we only have one person that showed up 20 minutes late for the interview and had it rescheduled, and that's you. So uh, this board is very important to an awful lot of people. And uh, as you can see right in here, a lot of people are, are concerned. And, and I personally am looking for somebody who's going to be there and who's going to dig into the hard work when the cameras aren't there watching. Uh, I, I, my studies of other boards say that that's some of the difficult things that we have is getting people to show up for things that are not very high profile. Convince me that I shouldn't be concerned about you. Convince you? Yeah. I can't 100% convince you. I can't. It's us. Um, what I can tell you is that I went to 100 with James Robertson Parkway, which is across the street. Mm -hmm. Say it again. I went to 100 James Robertson Parkway, which is across the street, and I talked to three security guards. I walked across the building three or four times trying to get into the Birch building. Then I walked over here to the back of the building, which wasn't open. Then I had to walk around. I talked to another security guard when I was at the back, and I had to walk around. I was actually here at 715. By the time I got through the door and got through talking to security, it was 718 and I waited to 8.32 to not be seen. But um, you have to take me for my word. I gave $250,000 away. I don't know if I can convince you or not, but I gave $250,000 away. I'll be here. My word is my word. My concern is simply the work, being there and showing up every day. My word is my word. Okay, we have under three minutes. Anybody else have a question? I Any have member? one, Madam Chair. Uh, let me check first. Any other committee, subcommittee members? Just very quickly, uh, take uh, them first. thank you for being here. Um, you are the next generation. Uh, your generation in Nashville, I think, has had issues with the police. And if I know you have had a extraordinary relationship with the police, would you just comment about your generation's relationship with the police department in Nashville and what should be done to maybe improve that? So it's kind of a, a double question uh, with that. I'm an African-American man. That's the first part of that question. The second part of that question is I'm just a human, right? Um, I have a lot of friends that's actually in law enforcement. I have, a, you know, ample friends that have had problems with police. So I've always been a person kind of in the middle. Uh, one thing I can say that I would do... Um, that would help out, I think, the communities more is put police, you know, make them walk a beat, make them get outside their car, make them be. It's almost impossible for you to shoot somebody after you see them. Or it's almost impossible for you to disrespect somebody or not trust somebody after you see them. After you see them in that community once or twice or three or four times, you get to know Derek, you get to know Mark, you get to know Tiffany or whoever's in that community. You get to know their actions and where they're going to be. If you never see that person or you're never in that community, if this is your first time, then, you know, you don't know what's going on. You, you don't trust that situation. Um, as far as the, the African-American community, that part, um, African-American people, not people, I mean, I speak in general um, terms, um, some African-American men have had problems with uh, police force and police authority. Um, but that's... Uh, because of how their upbringing was and the environment they're in. Uh, there has to be trust on both sides. Um, August 26th of last year, I had a come together day where I had police and I had firefighters. Shaw, I am so sorry, but it, the time is now 3.40, and as I did with everybody else, I am going to stop you. Okay. But I do appreciate you coming back and you sharing with us and you talking with us. And thanks so very much for coming back. No Thank you. No Have a great afternoon. Thank you.